Hello YouTube, this is Everything Epan here, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows 11 in VMware. Uh, I did a video on VirtualBox for installing Windows 11, but in this one, we are going to uh, do it in VMware. Uh, the process is pretty much the same, uh, aside from the beginning part of the setup in VMware when you're creating your machine. That also, of course, differs, but uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this video. So the links in the description that will be down there uh, for you is first for VMware. Um, you'll need to scroll down to towards the bottom here, and there'll be options for either VMware Workstation Pro or VMware Workstation Player. Uh, you can download either one of those to try. Um, if you haven't done so already. And then the second link, of course, is going to be for uh, Windows 11 uh, for getting the ISO. So um, down here, it'll be in the Windows 11 disk image ISO. You'll pick the edition and then you'll hit download. Um, and it should give you the, yep, let's go down here and it'll ask your language. Then you just hit confirm and then it will give you a link right here to download it. So uh, those links will be in the description uh, for you to download for this video. That should be all you will need. And once you got those all downloaded, uh, if you don't have VMware already, uh, go ahead and open up VMware. And then uh, you may have some machines on the side here, but I, uh, you may not if you have first installed it. Uh, but regardless, we'll go ahead and create a new virtual machine on the home page here. We're just going to do the typical setup, and then uh, this is where it's going to have us pick our ISO. So we're going to go ahead and browse uh, for that ISO um, wherever you have saved it. And once you find it in here, then you will want to go ahead and uh, open it. Um, it may not detect it automatically, like for the operating system and everything. Uh, that is totally okay. Just hit next on it, and then uh, for the operating system type, just make sure it's set to Microsoft Windows. And then you can scroll up to the top and select Windows 10 and later X64 uh, for the version. So then we'll hit next and I'm just gonna call the machine Windows 11. You can name it whatever you want. Go ahead and hit next. And then it's gonna ask what we want to set our disk space to. Um, I'm just gonna set mine to 50 gigs. Uh, you can leave it at 60 if you want. And then normally I just do it to store as a single file. You can do multiple. Um, course it says here it's easier to move the machine to another computer or another drive whichever um, on that so uh, can do either or I usually just do a single file as it is so hit next and then uh, here you'll want to hit customize hardware um, it has it default at two gigs but normally for this you'll want to have it at a minimum of four uh, I'm gonna go ahead and designate eight gigs to it uh, on that uh, should be good on the number of processors and cores you can adjust this if you'd like but I'm just gonna leave it as is and hit close and then finish and that should be done with creating the machine here and since you've already got your ISO inserted there's nothing you need to go in to edit after that so we will just need to power on the machine It's going to ask to press any key to boot from the CD or DVD. You'll need to click inside of the virtual machine and go ahead and insert or uh, click any key to boot the DVD. And it will load the setup screen here. So we'll let it load up. And here we are in the first part of the setup. So on this here, um, what we'll want to do is go ahead and click next after choosing your language and keyboard format here. And then we'll go ahead and hit install now. So we'll say setup is starting. And then it will come up to the screen here where the product key. Now I'm going to proceed through these steps and show you what happens if you don't do this uh, special step uh, for completing this because it will give us a error uh, coming up here. So uh, if you hit I don't have a product key. Uh, of course, since we normally wouldn't have one in this case. And then on here, here's your list of the versions of Windows here. You got Home and Pro and Education, all those. Um, I'm just going to hit Pro just as an example and hit Next. And then it's going to come up with a message that says it does not meet the minimum system requirements. 
Now, this is due to the error, of course, of uh, not being able to uh, bypass with the CPU. So what you want to do is hit uh, Shift and F10 together. It'll bring up a command prompt window here. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to uh, type in reg edit. It'll bring up the registry editor here. So we'll want to go to the local machine direct directory here. And then uh, it's going to be system. And then there's uh, the setup tab here. Um, once you get into there, we'll right click on setup, hit new, and then key. And then you want to name the key as lab config. If you can't see this in the video, um, for the main parts of these, uh, certainly feel free to stop it and try and look if you need to. Um, so we'll hit enter to confirm the name. And then once we're in there, uh, it'll default us into that folder. What we'll want to do is uh, hit a right click in here, do new D word 32 bit values should be the third uh, after the line here should be the third option. And then uh, for this first one, we'll type bypass TPM check and hit enter. Um, I'll have these in the description too, if for any reason you can't see them on here, um, or maybe just want to try and copy paste if possible, you can. Uh, then you want to go open it, uh, change the value data to uh, from zero to one, hit OK. And then you'll want to do another right click on this and then do new D word 32 bit value. And then on this next one, we're going to type in bypass secure boot check with each word having the first letter capitalized. We'll go ahead and open it up by double clicking on it and we'll change the value data from zero to one as well. And then hit okay and it will confirm it. So we've made all the changes in here that we need to make. So now we will go ahead and uh, close out of the registry editor and close out of the command prompt and we can go back through this uh, prompt again. So just hit install now. It'll say setup is starting. It'll ask for a product key. Just go ahead and hit I don't have a product key to skip that. And then you can select the addition of Windows you'd like to install uh, via the Home Education Pro. Um, it's got a couple workstation additions here for Pro. I'll just do Windows 11 Pro, hit next. And then it's finally going to get us the license agreement this time around instead of that error. So go ahead and check the box to accept the license terms. Hit next. And then we'll go to custom since we obviously can't upgrade since there's no install on here. And then uh, we'll want to hit next. Now I did make it 50 gigs and it did come up with a message that said it needs to be 52 gigs or above. Um, so you may want to leave it at the default of 60. I was just doing it to kind of conserve a little bit more space. Um, but uh, we'll want to leave it at the 60 gig usually as a default as it is. So um, just keep a note of that. That message may come up if you do put it below the 60 gigs or even below 52 as it said there. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. But uh, it will go through this part of the installation. This part will take uh, probably the longest out of everything here. So uh, just let it sit and do its thing. Um, and then it will come up to a restart point here. Uh, should do a reboot, I should say. And then uh, we'll continue into the next part of the setup. So I will uh, let this sit and uh, run here. And I'll be back with you guys once we hit the uh, restart point or the next portion of the setup. All right, so I did miss the first screen there. Um, it did have us go ahead and restart uh, there. It just went through and said to restart. Uh, and then a message, you know, if it comes up and says press any key to boot from the CD, do not hit any key because you'll just keep going in a constant loop. Um, so just let it run through. Uh, it will load the next part of the setup here. So uh, just let it run and run through and do its thing here. As you can see, it'll say getting devices ready and starting services. Uh, it'll load through again on the getting devices ready. And then uh, should prompt up on the uh, setup again once this loads through. So, of course, this will differ. The time will differ on this depending on your computer's hardware and everything. But, um, could go, so it could go quicker or uh, could go slower. Just kind of depends here. But uh, eventually it will load up into the next portion of the setup. So we'll uh, continue once it hits that portion. All right. So it will take us to this uh, next portion, portion of the setup here. Um, we'll to play the chime there to you, the startup. Uh, sound so select your country here when it asks for your uh, country or region 
and then hit yes. And it will continue on to the next part of the setup uh, with the keyboard layout. Just make sure you select that accordingly, hit yes, and then you can skip or add a second layout if you need. Uh, it's going to check for updates next here on the setup. And if it finds any, it will download them and apply them as well. And then the next portion of the setup should come up there for us. And we'll come up with a message here that says that the PC will need to restart before continuing. So it should go into a reboot and then it will prompt back us into the setup. So there it is on the reboot. And so we'll let it do that here then and we'll go ahead. And there's a VMware logo, so it's rebooting. Um, and the message did not pop up for us to press the uh, any key to boot from the CD or DVD. So I think it actually has the hard drive uh, prioritized on the boot sequence, uh, which is good. So that way nobody needs to worry about going into any kind of a constant loop with installing this. So, um, so now it's going to ask us to name our device. I'm just going to call it uh, Windows 11 dash PC, for example, and then we'll hit next. You can't skip it and it'll give a randomization, you know, randomized name there. Um, which will have just some random letters, numbers, and uh, characters on there. So uh, we'll pop up and say uh, just a moment here. Uh, eventually, it'll give us to the portion where we'll want to set up our user account. Um, of course, it's going to prompt us to do a Microsoft account to start off, but you can actually set up a local account instead of logging in with a Microsoft account. So it will reboot once more, and then it should load us up into the next part of the setup. So boot through, we'll say just a moment. And then should bring this window back up for us. And then will ask us the type of setup we'd like to do for this. So setting up either for personal use or for work or school. Uh, we'll just do personal use in this case. Go ahead and hit next. It's gonna ask us to add a Microsoft account. Um, we can go ahead, uh, if you hit next, it's not gonna skip it here. So go ahead and do sign in options and then do offline accounts. And then go ahead and hit skip for now. And then it will prompt us to name our user account here. So I'll type in a username here, uh, type in what you need there accordingly, hit next, and then you can enter a password or if you just hit next, it will skip and you will not need to enter a password uh, for the account. So um, last couple privacy questions here, you can check, uncheck any of them if you'd like, go ahead and hit next and same here on this and hit accept. And it will again check for updates. So this part may take a little bit um, if it has any. And then it should bring us into this next portion where it will give us the uh, the high and getting things ready for you message. So uh, this part will take a little bit here. And then after this, it should uh, prompt us up to the desktop. So of course here it says this might take a few minutes and it'll give us that nice uh, background here for that. So uh, let this run for a little bit. Uh, and I'll come back here once it gets towards the end and proceeds us to the desktop. All right, so it'll come up and say almost there and then it will prompt us to the desktop here. So uh, this is, means we have successfully installed the operating system and uh, now you can certainly choose to install VMware tools and that should, I think, help with the resolution here. So we'll go through that real quickly up on that. So uh, to insert it, just go up to VM and hit the button it's set up there originally when i had it it said install vmware tools and that should insert that iso into there and it'll prompt up with an autoplay so we'll just go ahead and click on it and hit run setup 64. it'll ask us to allow the app to make changes we'll just hit yes and it will go through the first portion of the setup and should come up with another window here there it is so uh, here's the install wizard for VMware tools. So we'll just hit next and we're gonna do a complete install of that and then hit next and install. 
And so we'll go through the process of installing all the tools included in here, all the files it needs for that. And then once it's finished installing everything and some drivers as well, should prompt us to go ahead and reboot. Um, the video driver is one of the more important ones here because it will uh, flash and as you can see, it will automatically adjust to fill the window here, which is something I've really uh, liked about having VMware tools. So um, now that it's finished there, just go ahead and hit finish. It will ask to reboot and then it, of course, just reinserts the uh, Windows 11 disk. So just hit yes to reboot. It's going to reboot your virtual machine. And then once it powers back on and the loading screen or the login screen and the desktop should automatically adjust after the reboot. So here is the reboot. We'll come up to the loading screen here. And as you can see, it fits a lot better now. It automatically fits the window here with the login prompt and it will automatically log you back into your account uh, if you don't have a password or will prompt you to enter in your password there. So uh, now that we've got VMware tools installed that's got the display and everything correctly, that is the full install. And as you can see, I just talked over it, but the uh, logon sound played or the startup sound just played. So with that, that is uh, all there is to it for the installation here, and that will end the tutorial. So definitely appreciate you guys watching this video. If you did uh, enjoy the video or if this did help you out, uh, go ahead and leave a like down below. Um, you can also comment down below any future video ideas you have for me um, to see and can drop those below. Uh, if you are not subscribed and you are watching this video, certainly can do so by hitting the subscribe button down below and uh, hitting the bell to be notified when I upload future videos. So this concludes the tutorial on how to install Windows 11 in VMware. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.